Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. How are you? How has your day been? I hope it's all been good. Today I am back with a little like denim review guide. Basically all my favourite jeans that I own because I feel like they're such a staple in everyone's wardrobe. They never go out of fashion. And I've also found it so hard to just find like the perfect pair of jeans that fit amazing. I thought I'd put together a video of kind of my curated collection of jeans that just never fail me. This has taken years and years to perfect. Some of these jeans I've owned for like eight years and love them. Some of them are new purchases. I just thought I'd go through them all, show you them, try them all on, let you know like sizing, the fit, everything. Of course, they'll all be linked in the description box. I'll put what size I wear in all the jeans in the description box as well, because they're kind of different depending on each jean. Um, so hopefully that will help um, just if you're like a similar size to me or you kind of want to know to like size up or size down they're from a range of different stores so i have some from zara some from asos abercrombie now abercrombie are very kindly working with me on part of this video which means i have an unreal discount code for you guys if you did want to purchase any now is your time i think the code also works on the rest of the website for 15 percent off okay first pair i've actually got on because i couldn't not start the video in a pair of jeans. These are Abercrombie. These jeans I've worn so many times with heels. They're like the perfect pair of jeans you can dress up, but then you can also wear casual just with like trainers or sliders. Um, I love the wash. These come in loads of other colours as well, um, like ones with rips, ones without. So they're part of their curved love range, which I think all my Abercrombie jeans are. And what it means is that they have an extra two inches around like the hip and bum area. So if you're someone that finds it hard to get jeans that fit both both your waist and then also your thighs and bums. I'm definitely not the most curvy girl in the world, but I definitely have like a little bit of thighs, a little bit of bum, and I do find with a lot of other places for jeans, I end up having to size up to kind of like get them up my leg, otherwise they get stuck like here. And then what happens is you have like a gap at the back where they don't fit your waist. So that's why I love the curved love range. And I just think they're really flattering. Like they create that hourglass figure even if you're not. So these are from there. I'm not sure the exact jeans. I'm going to put them in the description box with everything else. But I just think they're the perfect pair of jeans. Like, look at the fit. They flatter your bum so much. Like, if you want a pair of jeans that flatter your bum, Abercrombie Curve Love range will never fail you. I promise. They're super comfortable, quite stretchy, but then also really, really good quality. I've had these for about four years now. So I've washed them a lot and they still hold up like so well. The length is really nice. I get them all in a long length. I am like five foot nine, so just that for reference. I think they come in petite as well, normal, and then also extra long. So you have like long and then extra long. So very, very good on sizing. Size guide on the website is really good as well. Like if you don't know what length to get, look at that because it will tell you like your height and what length. Now it's hard to pick a favorite. It's like picking a favorite child. But I would say these are like my most worn jeans ever. And if you're going to pick up one pair of like classic pair of jeans, then I think these could be the ones. Okay, next up, let's do a little Zara number. So I will try all the jeans on as well. These I've had for years as well. The belt loop is actually broken. I need to fix this. I've been meaning to fix it for so long. And when I say I need to fix it, what I'm actually saying is I need to take it to my mum so she can fix it. She can sew it back on properly. But I've had these for a long time. They're like a kind of wide leg straight jean. They fit really nice on the waist. They're super high waisted. They wash really well as well. I find Zara jeans are really affordable. I'm not sure if they sell these exact ones anymore because they are very old, but they definitely have similar styles. So what I will do is I'll look up and try and find the most like similar style. Might be a slightly different shade of blue, but apart from that, yeah, and they're a really good length on me. Obviously I am quite tall. So if you are petite, they might be a bit long, but they're a raw hem. So you could 100% just cut them a bit shorter. Another pair of Abercrombie jeans, because I mean, a lot of my collection are Abercrombie. I've been collecting them for years now. They just are my favorite jeans. And you know, when you love a fit of something, then just get it in so many different styles. So these are the 90 straight ultra high rise. Um, Curve Love again. So I love these because they have like a slightly asymmetric waist. You will see that in the try on clips. But again, they're in the long length. They're kind of like a straight leg, um, but slightly longer than the pair 
I've got on at the moment. These ones are slightly shorter. Again, they're really nice quality, but they also have a slight stretch to them. So they feel really nice and comfortable on. I think these are a 26 waist um, and I got them in the long length. Let's chuck in a pair of darker denim pieces. Now I am a, like I'm the sucker for this light blue shade. As you can probably tell, but I do like, especially in autumn, darker colours. So these are kind of like a faded black. Um, they're new. They're that ultra high rise 90s straight. Again, Curve Love, do you even need to ask? By the way, all the jeans I'm showing, they also have in the non Curve Love range, just in case you do want the normal one. I just personally prefer the Curve Love. These are just a really nice classic pair of jeans. They're slightly longer, have like a tapered straight leg to them they fit really nice around the waist and the bum i got these in a 25 waist i think abercrombie jeans are around the 75 pound mark so they are a little bit more expensive but i just can't falter that like the fit and how long they last i just don't think you can go wrong like i'd much rather pay a little bit more money and they last me for years and they fit unreal than kind of continuously buy like 25 pound pair of jeans and then they just don't fit you wash the months they're kind of baggy you need to buy another pair after six months i would rather invest and obviously you can get 25 percent off at the moment another pair of zara jeans these are a kind of white wide leg pair um so love these i do love a white pair of jeans i think they look really really chic and i love an all neutrals look i'm not sure exactly like what they're called on the website so again i will try and find them online or find a similar one online but they're like a straight leg come down to the floor size wise i have these in i think it's an eight but it doesn't actually say um but a european 36 so whatever that is in uk sizing has to be another pair of abercrombie ones so these are slightly more like the cool girl jean slightly looser a little bit more baggy kind of cool off duty vibes again that they reach the floor they're a really nice length i have them in the long length they're curve love of course but they're still super flattering like around the waist they're quite nice and tight just on the legs slightly more baggy which makes them super super comfortable and then I picked up this pair recently from Abercrombie, which I've tried on and I love. Again, they're a little bit more like cool girl, trendy vibes. So they are a little bit more low-waisted, which I actually quite like. I didn't think I would, but I tried them on the other day with like a little cropped t-shirt and I actually thought they looked so nice and were really flattering on. I feel like low-waisted jeans can go a bit hit and miss. They can absolutely look awful and be so unflattering. So these are a really good option. Now, if there's one pair of jeans in this video that I've had for the longest time, it is this pair here. Now, I'm not even kidding. I think I've had these for about 10 years. Now it does show a little bit. They are a little bit loose now, not as great fitting, but they're that ASOS Farley jeans. There was a time that I had these in every single color. And now this like faded black pair is the only pair that kind of remains in my collection. It's like an in-between of a skinny jean and a mum jean. They have rips in the knee. They're super high-waisted, kind of tight around the waist and bum, which is really nice. I'll try and link them on the ASOS website if they still have like a similar pair. And I always got these, I think in the waist 26 length 32. And then last up from Abercrombie is this pair here. So these are the 90 straight ultra high rise, but these are the ones with the rips in the knees. So if you want a little bit more of a distressed look, then these are a great option. Again, they're in a nice light blue shade. These I have in the 24 waist, which I definitely put on weight since I bought these. So they might be a little bit too much of a snug fit now, but they do have a bit stretched to them. So hopefully I can still get them on for a little bit of a try on for you guys but yeah i love these again they're in the long length as well so those are all my favorite denim pieces i've been collecting these for like i said like 10 years now so there are quite a lot of pairs but i know they're gonna last me a long time and i'm just super happy with the collection i've created let me know what your favorite pair was or if you're gonna pick any up or if you have any other recommendations for really good jeans and yeah make sure to subscribe i can't even say that make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye